Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fashion show. <laughs> Definitely not a fashion show, but again, it is a night of fashion because Lyle asked us to come looking like cover girls and we are bringing it to the carpet as we launch our show, The Lyle is Loud. Tonight is one night I have particularly been waiting for because this is one project I know. She put in our sweat, our energy, resilience, dedication to make sure it comes to life and it's finally here. Tonight we're going to see friends of Lyle, we're going to see supporters of Lyle, we're going to see celebrities, everyone step out tonight to show their own girl all the support and I know you don't want to miss this because it's going to blow your mind. Prepare to see a lot of fashion tonight because what is if we do not give you how will you take it? <laughs> My name is Moya Soriolua. This is Enya Labad Must TV, and I'm about to bring you all that is happening at the premiere of Lyle's Lounge. Enya Labad Must TV Entertainment. The Queen Mother is out here looking so gorgeous. Talk about Mags and Girl. This is what it looks like. Yes. Mama, you look great. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm good. And I know that you are here with all the energy inside of you to support your own girl. I know you love her. I know Prissy loves her. But tell me, what really do you love about Lyle? She's a go-getter. She's very hardworking and very dedicated to her craft, to what she does. Like, she never takes no for an answer and she always, always goes all the way out for her, for her own people, her loved ones, so. And when she told you, because I know you heard about this show even before it happened, and you're even on the, I saw you on the trailer. When she told you about this move, how did you feel? I was so excited for her because it's something that she's been doing for a while. You know, she's been on it for a while, so I was really very excited for her. That finally, it was coming to life. And tonight that we get to see it, what are your expectations? Well, it's all fashion, it's all style, so my expectations are high, but I trust Lyle to do the best. All right, Matt, thank you so much for talking to us and have fun tonight. <laughs> you know, one of the many things I love tonight is the fact that a lot of people would be coming out in their true self. Like, how do you want to appear on a magazine cover? And I definitely know that this is how Hush Baby wants to appear. How you doing, sir? But this is not my true self. <laughs> It's fake life. <laughs> it's in a fake life. You know you're a comedian when you see one. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. And you? And it's good to have you come out for Lyle. Yeah. I know she's your personal person, but yeah. tell me, apart from me, your personal person, what do you consider before you come out today? No, so, so Lyle is old stock. You understand? When it comes to entertainment. So so when you consider people that you started this business with, um, that's, that's, that's the first one. And for the other one, she has very many content. Like she has a functional brain. So when you say Lyle is putting up something, and to me, this has been a long time coming. And uh, the fact that it's coming now, so obviously it's coming with too many experiences. So we're here to see the actual Lyle. And that's entertainment lifestyle. And that's, I think that's what the lounge is about. I know, I was going to ask you what you think stands out, but I think you've said so much already. But one of the many things a lot of people would say about her is the fact that she always shows up for people. Do you agree? No, definitely not. That's why I'm saying she's old stock because she understands what um, communal, you know, um, business is. And um, it has to tell, okay, I've been doing this. We have like set of persons that, you know, we're all doing this together. And so every time something comes, she meets new people. She's friends with them and she shows up for them. So basically, we're going to be seeing a round, a roundabout of Lyle's affection, Lyle's character, and Lyle's concerns. And that's that's why people are here tonight. Amazing. And yes, for the show, I know you've seen the trailer. It looks really good. But tell me, what's your favorite part of this already? That's why I'm here <laughs> to get a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and we hope that you have fun tonight deaf 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 bless yeah. thank you the queen is here 
This is why we all have got out today. She is the reason why we are out here. And I'm so happy. I mean, look at, look at, look at. E, 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 e. Nothing excites me more than seeing you happy. I mean, look at you. How do you feel tonight? I'm so excited. I'm elated. I'm excited. Starting, I'm euphoric. Should I go on? Oh my god, I'm super excited today. This has been a long time coming. Um, I've waited for this project to birth this project from the point of conceptualizing it. I was like, Look, you know, Lily, you've got to go there. But there were really a lot of obstacles, but I'm happy that finally it's here. I've been behind the scenes for for quite a while, but I'm back with a bang. You know, one of the many things I can say for sure is you are an amazing broadcaster, a great personality. I mean, I started following you from just hearing you speak, the finesse, the poise, everything works for you. And I know that you're one person who's always rooting for other people, trying to make things work for them. And now you're here doing your own thing. This must have been a dream for a long time. But watching it come to life right now, what are the things rumbling in your tummy? You know, the first day I I got um, airtime. I actually cried because this is. A, and thank you for all the compliments, for all the wonderful compliments. Thank you so much. The first day, this. I mean, they called me to say, Lily, your show is airing on the sixth of May. I cried because this is a project that I abandoned several times. I had issues with editors, issues with. I, I mean, issues with a lot of people a lot of things surrounding the show but i thank god you know they say that the success story is not that's not what it is it's the journey to the success story and the journey has taught me a lot of things perseverance doggedness resilience and so many things so i'm so happy i'm excited and i'm happy that we're here today and Lyle's lounge is here please don't cry tonight <laughs> I know. Six of May, guys, you need to go watch it. It's gonna be airing every week. You don't want to miss it. Congratulations, Thank Mama. You. We love you so Thank much. You. You Congratulations. So Right now, we're exploring a slew of unforgettable fashion moments from the biggest stars on the African continent. Now, each event features more glam, dates, and lost learning star moments that will be with us forever. How do you forever keep prepared for the different events? Who, what, where, and how? This is where we get to wrap up on the show. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Ladali or Yatongo. Ladies and gentlemen, on the red carpet for the grand launch of one of the show, we are definitely looking forward to Lyle's Lounge. I have VJ Adams right here. It's giving us the Omo Yoruba name your swagger. Yes, sir. Unapologetic, so. <laughs> love it and i know that if someone like you were going to appear on a magazine cover you would definitely be yours truly true definitely i'm i'm, I'm a yoruba boy and i'm proud to be a yoruba boy all day every day she gets yes, and i'm here to support my girl Lyle Yatogo. i've known her for a long time i'm at least 15 years and counting um she used to do a show called page three 
um, at a different platform then. Um, but I'm happy for this because this is ownership, you know what I'm saying? And um, she owns the IP of this and the intellectual property of this, which is IP. So I'm happy for her. She's been able to do this on her terms and um, here to support, here to see it unfold. Um, I'm just happy. I'm excited. Yes, we all are excited. And uh, one of the things that really gets me hyped about this show is the fact that it's different. We do not get to see what happens behind the scene most times. And from the trailer, it was looking really hot already. Are you going to appear on this show? Oh, yes, most definitely. Um, you know, the year is literally just starting. The elections are over. Ramadan is over. So the year is about to start proper. So um, all the award shows and all of that would kick into full swing. So most definitely, I'm, I mean, I can't wait to be on it. And let's talk about you for a bit. I know you're one person who is always serving us back to back as well. You have your own show. I think I saw you recently post about the fact that you're going to produce some shows in December. And I was saying, VJ Adam, the table leaves, leaves some small, small things for us right now. But tell me, what's that about and how's that going? Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful because over the years, I've been privileged to have... Um, I've had great excellence on screen, still do great excellence on screen, but um, I've also been able to, over the years, use my competence to produce as well. So produce shows, and when I say produce shows, beyond producing TV or radio content, I'm producing events, event formats. Um, I own the franchise for the biggest gaming event in the country, CVGC, and I've produced exhibitions of them. I'm talking footfall of over 4,000 people in addition. So um, uh, in December, I just, I put up that post on my WhatsApp status, and two artists reached out immediately, and I'm talking, B lists, they are proper. I mean, they are up there. So I'm excited already. We're already doing means on um, on how the shows will go and all of that. So it's exciting. It's exciting times ahead. I love it, and I love that you're one who is always supporting your own, and that's why you're here today. Let's hear your wishes for Lyle as she embarks on this journey. Um, I mean, I'm rooting for you. You know, I'm in your corner all day, every day. I'm happy you're able to do um, TV on your terms. You're a stellar broadcaster. A fashion icon without a doubt. You're exceptional in every sense of the word. I'm proud of you. I'm here to support you, whatever it takes. And you know, you got me one phone call away. <laughs> Thank you so much and have a great evening. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm in the mood to ask you just one question. Who you know way fine like this? Who you know way set like this? Oh. You look <laughs> definitely oh. awesome. You look shiny. Thank you. I love your cause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this is something I would like to try sometime. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Mama? I'm very blessed, thank you. How are you? I'm very great, and I know you are so happy to be stepping out to celebrate Lyle. But tell us in your own words, how do you feel? I feel exquisite. <laughs> I'm excited and happy for her. I know she, this has been in the works for so long. And for it to be alive now, it's, um, you know, exciting. And I'm just looking forward to all the good work. Yeah. Yes. When you saw the trailer and when you saw what the show is about, what came to mind? I was like, wow, Lyle, expect the best. <laughs> like you do this one, oh. Yes, she puts the work in, so expect the best. Definitely. And what's your most inspirational you know stuff about her what do you draw from her when you look at a person when i look at her i see someone that's very resi resilient resilient i mean she's somebody that you know wants something and she doesn't stop until she gets it and not that she gets it in a shabby way but she gets it in an exquisite way no pun intended because i'm exquisite magazine but yeah <laughs> i love you so much and i love how you put your words thank you for talking to us and we hope that you have fun tonight thank you so i hope so thank you today. i really wanted an easy show because when i was in silver Lake, it wasn't really easy to um to produce my show you know because you know when when you have a production it's not just about you there are other people that make it work so when one party doesn't do what he so he or she's supposed to do it just makes everything really difficult for the producer and the presenter. So a bad experience, I didn't want anything difficult. And for me, I really don't like to do anything that is the norm, because if it's the norm, then why would people pay attention? Why would people watch? So I'm like, you know what, if you want to do anything like this, do something that is different, do something that is out of the box, do something that will catch your attention. And I said, okay, you know what, God, how are you going to do this? I want an easy shoe. I don't want anything too difficult. And I prayed about it, and the Holy Spirit gave me inspiration that, Lali, you're not a very um, easy person when you're getting dressed and getting glammed up for your red carpet events. And a lot of people don't see this. 
you know, we see celebrities looking picture perfect on the red carpet, looking glammed up. Their pictures trend on social media. Uh, people start to talk about the best dress, the worst dress, and all of that. But what you don't see is what happens behind the scene, the chaos, the apprehension, um, the tears, the word of mouth function, the fight between your glam team. All of that, I thought it would be really interesting content for all of you, for Nigerians. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then again, I thought about it because um, the perception of Nigerians outside Nigeria is not very fantastic. Um, anytime I'm traveling, anytime I'm traveling and I mistakenly take um, Emirates to America, they always stop me. There's no time they don't stop me and search me and ask me questions once they see my Nigerian passport. So it really means that our image has been really dented outside the country. And I thought about it is that, you know what? Let me create something that will change the perception of people about us. I mean, we don't, Nigerians are not filled with fraudsters alone. Nigerians are not filled with, um, um, people who do terrible things. We have talented Nigerians, we have skilled Nigerians, we have honest Nigerians, we have hardworking Nigerians. And I thought that, you know what, let me start with celebrities. And thank God for people like Sinaj, people like Thames, people like Weezy, who are flying the um, flag high outside the country, and our actors and actresses too, who are doing great outside the country. So I said, you know what, let me do something that would further add to what these people are doing outside Nigeria. And I said, why not? Why are these lounge? Let me show them that, see, we're cool, we're talented, we speak well, we're eloquent, we're articulate, we dress well, we've got courage, poise. We are, we're great people, and that's why I created Lionel's Lounge. So this is from me to you, from my heart, you know. It's meant to entertain you, um, inform you, um, and yeah, everything else. I totally love the main character energy everyone is bringing in tonight. And yes, the men are not missing it. I love what you're wearing. How are you doing tonight? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell me, what was the inspiration behind all of this? The inspiration behind all this, um, it's all a professional, and um, there is a new brand that came on called uh, Style by DV. So they actually the one that signed me. So right he really did a great job. Yeah. Tell me, I know you you're excited to be out for Lyle, but tell me how do you feel and what's your biggest, biggest inspiration from her? Excited to be here today because Lyle has been a great woman and I've known her for years. Uh, she's like um, OG before the IG. So we will be there. And I know her as an fashion lady. And uh, I'm really happy to be here because I came to support her with her dream come true. Right. When you saw that she had finally put this show together, what was the first thing that came to your mind? What was the first thing you said? The first thing that came to my mind, wow. It has really happened. Because we have been working towards it, she has been working towards it back to back. And God has actually answered her prayer. Amen. And we are glad that we are all here to see it. And yes, tonight, I know that you're happy. I know that you can't wait to even have a taste of what this show is about. I can't wait to, to go in there and see her face. I know. I know. Thank you so much for talking to us and have fun tonight. Yes. And I'm really happy for you guys. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. Have fun. All right. Then. My brown sugar is out here tonight. Linda, how are you? More your idea. How now? <laughs> Do it. Give it, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. I love this energy you brought tonight, and you look great as Thank always. You. That's keen. There's always keen. In. Yes. Well, you know, we try to keep it simple, and I'm um, always. You know, maintain what matters, which is the skin and the glowing. I love it. I love it. Tonight, we are just to support Layole. I know she's your home girl, but tell me, apart from being your home girl, why did you choose to come out tonight? Well, number one, understanding this is about fashion. So I want to see what else is out there. And you can't get enough of, you know, in your own world. So you have to come out and see what others are doing. And most importantly, beside, like you said, to support and who knows, maybe it's something I can buy, right? So I don't know yet. Maybe we can see some of the clothes in, on ground. I don't know what to expect, but I'm here to expect what 
I didn't expect, right? <laughs> Apart from all of the fashion and everything coming out tonight, we're also expecting to have Lioness Lounge, the show premiere on, the, on May 6th. And for everyone, we know that she has put in a lot of work into this one. And watching it come to life means a lot to her. If you were to describe all that is happening here tonight, coupled with the fact that we can't wait to see the show, what's that one word you would use? Unique. I love it and that's because the show is definitely unique. We've not seen anything like this before. Imagine going behind the scenes to, to show us how, you know, stars dress up and I know that you guys will love it. Lily, uh, Link, I, uh, for everything that we're going to see now, I need you to show me the fashion girl inside of you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cover girl. Energy. Okay, all right, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. How fun tonight. If you're coming out to celebrate someone who is known for fashion, called the fashion goddess, you know that you have to bring the game as well. And I love this cover girl standing right beside me. You look stunning. Do you want to give me the 360? Okay, take a look at that. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because today I'm celebrating my friend and I'm celebrating so many years of hard work. Oh, talking about hard work tonight, I hope that we're not going to have Lyle cry because I mean, a lot of people will be saying Why a lot of things. I hope she wouldn't cry. I am hoping Lyle will shed tears and I hope she hears this. I am hoping that Lyle will cry her out, eyeballs out because. I don't want that. Look, let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you this for free. Too many crying moments. Lily has had too many crying moments. Moments where she's saying, Chum, I don't think I can do this anymore. It's not just coming together. She's had those moments. So if she sheds a few tears of joy that it has all finally come together, I think it's worth it. Oh, yes, by all means. <laughs> okay, well, I won't want her to smell makeup, but then we allow some tears because I know she can be a very emotional person. But looking at our journey so far, what would you say has been your biggest um, you know, lessons to draw from a personality like hers? Never give up. Never give up. If you know Lyle, you know Lyle never gives up. No matter how bad, bad it may seem, she's always holding on strong. And that lesson I will never let go of. And I love it. And the trailer of the show looks yummy. It is yummy. It is yummy. I know you're proud. Trust me, the trailer does not do the show justice. Oh, yes. So you don't want to miss an episode. You blink, you miss. You snooze, you lose. Because from May 6th, this is going to be coming to your screen. And you can't afford to miss this. We have to let you go. Thank you so much. We had fun talking to you. And have, have a fun time tonight. Well, most definitely. Bad moss. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bad Moss TV on YouTube. So you can get to what different trending news. You can get to what different entertainment updates. And of course, all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and